Gas fuel truck sih ni kan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is too. Yeah. Ah, ane nak? Dia pastor sih. Ah, pastor nama ni. Do you go to church somewhere? Yes, in the Catholic Church. Catholic Church. Catholic Church. I was born Catholic. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you, how, where, when you die, where will you go? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Do you care? Do you care where you go if it's heaven, hell? No, I don't care. You don't care. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says. If no I guess. Oh, if I guess die. No, no. But you'll go to heaven or hell. You, what's hell like? You know what hell is like? Do they tell you? I don't care where they go. But yeah, you I care. Just, I just, I just you do, I just do good things now. When yeah, I, when I, I, I know, but I'm, I'm saying like in hell, there's no water, so I think you would care, right? If there's no water, yeah, would you care? I don't know where no, no, I know, but Jesus talked about it. Jesus, you believe Jesus, right? Yeah, okay, he said, do not fear those who kill the body are not unable to kill the soul, but fear God who is able to destroy your body and soul in hell. And why Jesus said that was because in hell, all the mercies of God are gone. No water, no sleep, no food. That's what Jesus said. in heaven. Huh? In heaven. In heaven is, is you're with Christ, everything is beautiful. But you said you're good, right? So let's test. Let me check. Let me check. Have you ever told a lie? Yes, yes. Okay, what do you call someone who lies? A liar. A liar, right? Okay. Have you ever stolen anything? Of course. One, uh, one, two, yeah. Twice, what do you call someone who steals things? A thief. A thief, right? So what are you? A thief. No, you're lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever blasted God's name like say OMG? Uh, no, don't say that. That's punishable by death in Old Testament. You know that as a Catholic, don't you? They killed people. God wanted those people dead if they said something like OMG because his name is very holy. Have you ever, ever had sexual thoughts about someone who wasn't your wife? Have you ever done that? Had sexual thoughts? I don't have Okay, but have you ever wanted to have sex with somebody in your mind? Never. You're a good liar. <laughs> no, have you have you ever have you watched porn? Yes, of course. Okay, well Jesus said if you look at someone or lust, you you commit adultery in your heart. Last one, and this is only four of the ten. Uh, and I know you know Ten Commandments. Have you ever hated anyone? Yes. Yeah, Jesus said that that's murder of the heart. So I'm not judging you, but according to your own mission, you're lying, thieving, blaspheming, adulterer of the heart, murder of heart. That's five of the ten. Uh, if God were to judge you according to his standard, would you be innocent or guilty? I'm an, I'm an innocent. Innocent? But you <laughs> broke all the laws. Yes, no. You sound like a criminal. You, you broke all the laws, yeah, and you're saying you're innocent. We're here in the, uh, we're still here in the world. Yeah, but you won't be. Someday you'll die like I will die because of sin. Uh, God, God gives us our wages for sin, is that he um, will kill us. God's going to kill everybody because of sin, right? That's what the Bible says. You know that as a Catholic. So when you die, maybe tonight, maybe when you're my age or older, would you, if God were to judge you according to his standard, not yours, would you be innocent or guilty? For me, I'm, 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 I'm innocent. Yeah, but God, God will see you're guilty. Because he's the judge. He's a righteous judge. It's a, he's the righteous judge. He's angry with the wicked every day. That would be you, right? He's angry with you. So, heaven or hell if you're guilty? Hell. If I'm guilty. And you say that doesn't concern you? No, uh, maybe. Uh, a little it's, concern it's, now, right? Because I'm kind. It's, I'm it's trying true. to scare you, right? It's true, it's but, true. but I want to tell you that's not. That's not. I want to tell you the gospel. Okay, that's why we're here. You, yeah. you. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Here, here. You know the gospel? I don't think so. If you're Catholic, here's here's the gospel. Why Jesus came down? God 
in the flesh, you know that. You know he lived the perfect life, you know that. And he died on the cross, you know that. But here's what you might not know, that if you would repent and believe upon him, he would substitute your life for his life. The great exchange, your life to Jesus, and he pays for all your sins on the cross, and you get his life. You understand? That's it. Yeah? No, 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 you tell me. Okay. But, so all you, all, that that's what but you... Things yeah. to use are uh, I mean, a little concerned. You're what? I'm a little concerned. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm glad. I'm your friend, and that's why I'm talking to you. But I want to tell you, salvation is a free gift. You understand? Free gift. It's a gift of God. You cannot earn it. You cannot do anything, right? But if you come to the Jesus of Scripture, He will change your life. Jesus said this: Unless you're born again, you cannot see the kingdom of heaven. So what I'm going to ask, I'm going to beg you, my Catholic friend is that you come to Christ and you trust only in Christ. He will give you his righteousness and you come to him by faith. You become born again, Christ in you, okay? But you gotta come to the Christ of the Bible. The Catholic Church cannot save you. All you can be in the Catholic Church is religious, but it won't save you. You must be born again. You must be born of spirit, okay? Can, uh, can one of my friends just keep in contact in case you would ever want to talk to us? Can you be in contact with one of my friends, the Filipino friends?